out of words. <laughs> Lee, what's up? Well, we start talking about threesomes, and uh, we got another one on the line. George, that was a good one, but he wasn't there. Lee, what's up? Hey, nothing much. I, I want to say uh, I got a problem with mine when I did it. I kissed her and everything else. I jumped on my girl's trampoline a couple times and went buck wild on the other girl forever. And from then on... Wait, so you... All right, hold on. So You're you, being a little selfish. So everyone agreed to the threesome, and uh, you you were being sort of polite with your, your girlfriend or wife, whatever. But the new girl, you went... Uh, mm -hmm. You just went animalistic. Yeah, yeah, like I was on Lucky Charms or something. I don't know. I just sugar wild all over, you know, and... Uh, you know what the problem is, dude? And this is the problem with men in general, us mm -hmm. right now. Even though he's living his dream, sort of, sort of living his dream, here's what we do. We do stop the complete honesty process. Here's what you have to do next time you get in that situation is explain to her the nature of why you did that. Now, I had to explain to my girl because we had this argument about it. We watched this prison uh, movie, uh, not a prison movie, a prison documentary on uh, on E!, and it was about like Ohio prison, and there was this dude. He was the, the head of the Crips. Now I am an out of shape, middle aged man. Sometimes I'm ready to go sexually, but it's not like I used to be. Right. This guy was a virile animal, and my girl could not. She literally sat there. We're watching it. She couldn't keep herself from going, mm. <laughs> because Just I moaning. felt I felt that his madness would destroy both of us. And then she was thinking, oh, my God, look at this hard dude. What? She's thinking in her head what he would do to me. So I had to explain to her, look, sweetie, I understand. You look at that and you go, oh. Now, I don't offer what you know this guy's going to. I know I don't sexually. This guy's in prison. He's mad. He's going to kill her. <laughs> you have to explain to her, sweetie. I love you, but I need I, I you do you realize I don't want you around when we're doing threesome. I'm I am really doing our relationship a favor by you're doing me a favor by allowing me to get this out of my system, but you got to understand when I want a threesome, I want a different girl. I want a kiss. I know I don't kiss you like I used to cuz I ugh. Cause, Cause you're the same. I, I nothing I do. Men like to manipulate. That's our problem. You want to manipulate. You want to see new panties come wiggling down. You want to see a new. You want to taste a new taste. Trampoline. Yes. So your woman, you have to explain to her, sweetie. You might. This is what you might have to do, dude. You might have to get her to. You might have to do a threesome with a dude. Can't do it. Cause but see, you can't be like that. Me. You can't be like that. Touch me, I gotta kill him. All, right, all, right, all right, wait. So, so Lee, you ended up kissing the other girl, and and that caused the problem with your wife. Well, that wasn't the only thing. I mean, the girl, the master, we was done. You know, she got frisky, and I got frisky. Whatever my wife was with it, you know. <laughs> And, yeah, and, you know, yeah. now 18 years of paying for that little rug rack me and her had, you know, it's just... She wants her to leave right away. You wanted to cuddle. I did, too. I, I don't want them to leave. Right. Yeah. So, I kind of want to hold them and look at them, but you still love your girl. So, so Lee, look at them. So, Lee, you guys still together? <laughs> You're collecting. Well, we're, well we're, we are somewhat together, but I tell you what, I, I, I just can't... Go there again because I might lose total control and kick them. Kick them. Yeah, these threesomes sound like a good idea at the time, but it sounds like it causes a it's bunch a of problems. There's a lot of rules, but there. you gotta. But see, the honesty you use to explain, like the 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 the, the pimpness that you need to even get your woman to do that, you need that was to. That's idea. There you go. Now you have to. You got to throw that in her face. Don't be ashamed to be petty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was your hey, idea. It was your idea. What the hell? <laughs> your happiness is key, man. <laughs> yeah. It was your idea to order the steak, and you know I love steak. What the hell? Man? You didn't know what this was going to do to me. Yeah, and, and so I, I overate. Jeez, I mean, <laughs> you know how much I love the steak. Yes. What the hell am I supposed yeah, to do? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one thing, though. <laughs> it, it is one of the greatest things when it's happening, but the guilt that you get when the girl look your girl looks at you and says, uh, "Was she better than me?" Yeah, yeah, you know, but I love you. Just always throw love. Well, you know, love and lust they both start with L. You know, and... no, I love. All right, you, baby. all right, Lee. I'm punching out. Thanks for sharing. We got to take a break. We got Patrice O'Neill in studio. We might have uh, the story of the month in front of us.